Have you ever created a mix that sounded really nice and wide in stereo, but then when you listen to it in mono, it seemed like parts of it disappeared or it got very thin? We have a new plugin that can help you fix that. Welcome to the demonstration video of Sidewinder, the dynamic stereo width maximizer plugin from RJ Studios. Sidewinder is a new concept in image enhancing for stereo signals. If you're familiar with typical image enhancing plugins, they tend to widen the signal, which sounds nice in stereo, but then sometimes when you go to mix it to mono, you find out that parts of the signal are disappearing or it sounds much thinner than it did in stereo. The reason that happens is because you have signals on the left and right channels that are becoming polarity inverted or even slightly out of phase so that when they're mixed together they tend to cancel or at least partially cancel and reduce in level. What Sidewinder does is it's a typical image enhancing plug-in that works on the mid-side ratio of the stereo signal but it has an additional feature that most image enhancers do not have which we're calling a width limiter right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start displaying this originally with the width limiter turned off so you can see how the width adjustment itself works. I have a little song here, a little tune that was recorded that's already a little bit too wide, but it'll show us a good example of what Sidewinder does. Now if we look at the output correlation meter here, it's showing that most of the time the signal is in the green area, which is good, that's what we want but occasionally it dips into the red area. And when it goes into the red area, what that means is parts of that signal are gonna cancel when they're mixed to mono. Now Sidewinder works like a typical stereo image enhancer where I can pull the image all the way down to mono, or I can push it all the way up to up to 200% width enhancement. You hear how much wider the signal gets. You also can see that the output correlation begins to go negative because the signal is now too wide. I'm displaying this in WaveLab 9 and its correlation meter confirms what this plugin is showing. Okay, so that's a problem. You don't want that in your mix. It's not gonna sound right if it gets played on a cell phone or some other mono mix situation. So we'll reset this back to zero, which is the default setting. Double clicking on any control restores it to its original default setting. And we're going to show you what happens here when the width limiter is turned on. Sidewinder is now tracking the width of the signal and will automatically reduce the width when it starts to exceed zero correlation into the negative region. As you can see on our correlation meter now, the meter never dips below zero no matter how wide I make the signal. And WaveLab's correlation meter confirms this. you're getting a wider image than you would normally be able to do with just a static setting. For example, in order to stay in the positive range, I'd have to have the width set around here somewhere, or maybe even less in certain parts of the song. So the overall mix would be much narrower than it can be with Sidewinder turned on and pushed up. Sidewinder will help you make wider mixes or at least better mix decisions. You can use Sidewinder as a tool to automatically control the image width, or you can use that as a tool just to visualize what's going on in your mix so that you can make adjustments to fix any out of phase or polarity issues you have in your signals. There's a bass mono control right here, which controls the frequency where the width adjustment begins to roll off on the low end. And that's important, especially if you're doing mastering for vinyl, where you don't want a wide bass signal. This control can be moved all the way up to 300 hertz and all the way down to 30 hertz if you don't want it effective. That's an overview of Sidewinder. It's a really cool plug-in. I think you really get a lot of use out of it. Thank you for watching.